Hello and welcome to your Sensing More Date Night In experience. My name is Megan Pruitt and I'm the founder of Date Night In Box. If you've joined us for a date night in previously, you'll notice that we're doing things a little bit differently. If this is your first time, just know that typically we include printed date instructions, but tonight you'll be guided through your date by our friend Patrick. The theme of your date is sensing more. Tonight, you and your significant other will place a focus on your five senses and experiencing your relationship in new ways that you might not have before. I challenge both of you to come out of your comfort zone and begin this date with an open mind. Relax and enjoy your time. As a bit of housekeeping, did you know that each month we give a free date to a couple who snaps a picture of themselves enjoying their date with their box in the photo? To qualify, simply post your photo to Instagram or Facebook using the hashtags DateNightInBox or DNI Sensing More. A big congratulations to last month's winner. Last bit of info. Were you given this date as a gift? If so, we would love for you to join us again. We offer a variety of plans to fit your needs, and we also have a Kids Night Inbox subscription. Simply visit nightinboxes.com and use the code 15 off NIB for 15% off all subscription plans. Now get ready to enjoy your night together. Keep listening, and our friend Patrick will get you started with tonight's first activity. Hi, my name is Patrick, and I'll be your Sensing More date guide tonight. As Megan mentioned earlier, relax and enjoy this experience with your significant other and don't forget to snap some pictures for a chance to win a free date. Well, let's get to it! During your Sensing More date, you'll explore the power of human touch, exercise your visual recall, dabble in a taste test, sample scents, and answer relationship questions while limiting some of your senses. Let's go ahead and think about setting the stage for your date tonight. In the spirit of Sensing More, Take a quick minute and consider the spaces in which you might enjoy your date. Gather and light some candles, dim the lights, and cozy up together. Periodically, during your date tonight, I'll play some music to allow for your own thought and discussion. If you're joining us for another month, this will stand in place of your custom Spotify playlist. Now that you've created a space for your date, I would like to introduce you to Marina Hewlett. Marina will guide you through her suggested menu for the night. After you prepare your food with Marina, you'll actually be greeted by my wife, Kyra, to explore some table talk topics to get the conversation flowing. Bye for now, but not for long. Hi friends, I'm Marina from Marina Makes. I am so excited for you to try the flavors and textures that I've put together for this month's menu. I encourage you to use every one of your senses as you enjoy this food. Observe the vibrant colors with your eyes, smell the aromas, experience the texture as you put the food in your mouth, savor the taste of every bite, and listen to the sounds of the food as you chew. I'd love to see how your food turns out, so please share pictures of the results on social media. Don't forget to use the hashtag MarinaMakesEats. Happy eating! Now on to the recipes. Let's start with some vino. Pour each type of wine in a separate glass. Before taking a sip, swirl the wine and observe how it moves against the glass. Then smell the wine and predict what fruits and other notes you will taste. Finally, take a sip of the wine and consider whether the taste matches your prediction. If you are partaking in the non-alcoholic version, pour each flavor of soda in a separate glass. Before taking a sip from the glass, Swirl the soda and observe how it moves against the glass. Then smell the soda and enjoy its fruity aroma. Finally, take a sip of the soda and think about its taste. Next, we'll begin making our Mediterranean small plates. These small plates are best served with warm pita bread. You can buy prepared versions of the store if you're running short on time. To make the tzatziki dip, combine the yogurt, lemon juice, grated cucumber, cumin, salt, and dill in a bowl. Then set the dip aside in the refrigerator until you're ready to eat. When you are eating, use your sense of smell to focus on the scents of cucumber and dill. 
to make the tomato and cucumber salad, combine the tomatoes, cucumber, olives, oregano, and olive oil in a bowl, and season with salt and pepper. Set the salad aside in the refrigerator until you are ready to eat. When you are eating, focus on the variety of textures in this dish. To make the whipped feta, place the feta in a mixing bowl. Then use a stand mixer or hand mixer to whip it on high for two to three minutes until it starts to become smooth. Add the heavy cream and whip the mixture for two to three more minutes until it is soft and well combined. Place the mixture in a serving bowl and sprinkle it with paprika, then garnish with pumpkin seeds and fresh oregano. When eating, focus on not just the taste, but also the appearance. You can make this dish look quite pretty when you garnish it. To make the white bean and basil hummus, add the beans, basil, lemon juice, salt, tahini, and garlic to a blender or food processor. Pulse a few times to mix the contents together. Add the olive oil a tablespoon at a time until the hummus reaches the desired consistency. Place the dip in a serving bowl. When eating, take time to enjoy this dish's fresh, nutty flavors. Now onto the real star of the show, the Parmesan panko and almond crusted tilapia. To make the tilapia, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Place the parchment paper on a baking sheet or pan. For each side of each tilapia fillet, brush with butter and season generously with salt and pepper. Place the fillets on the parchment paper. Place the almonds, breadcrumbs, parmesan, and oregano in a food processor or blender and pulse five to seven times. Place some of this mixture on top of each tilapia fillet. Then bake the fillets in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until the tops are golden brown and the fillets are cooked through. This dish has a unique texture. When eating, enjoy the crunch of the topping and the tenderness of the fish. It's time to sit back and enjoy a little bit of table talk with each other this evening. Let's take a moment to dig deeper into tonight's theme, Sensing More, and see the important roles your five senses have played in the story of your love. If someone asked you to explain your love with science, would you know what to say? You might be inclined to remark that your love is a matter of the heart, that it is abstract, and that science has no power over love. You think about the tender way he caresses your cheek, or her one in a million sweet smile, and it certainly doesn't trigger the thought, ah yes, my sensory cortices have been activated. I'm going to guess that this is quite far from your thoughts. But our senses actually do play an important role in our emotional processing which aids us in developing feelings of love and affection for each other. Our five senses interpret and perceive what we have experienced, activating neurotransmitters and sending clear messages to our brain. As you'll experience in your date this evening, your senses can be a very powerful way to guide emotional reactions. If you've never really been one to share your feelings, you might be surprised at just how easy it can be your senses can offer a very tangible picture of your love. Take a few minutes to reminisce. Next, we're gonna do a fill in the blanks activity. After each sense, pause your date guide and take a minute to share your memories with each other. Our love is complex, but these things I know to be true. I fell in love with all my senses. The sense of smell. When I first met you, you smelled vaguely like The smell of you felt like home from the very beginning. I missed you when I smelled, because it reminded me of our favorite time together. It always will. The sense of touch. Your touch always felt. I felt safe in your arms, especially when we... We used to stroll down the street together. I loved it when you would. I still do. The sense of sight. You always used to wear that. My photo memory of you isn't complete without it. When I laid eyes on you for the first time, I fell in love with your... I swore that it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I still do. The sense of taste. The first thing you ever cooked for me was... I loved it because you prepared it just for me. 
When I watched you enjoy the taste of, it made me smile. When I taste, it brings me right back to, I never want to forget that moment with you. I never will. The sense of sound. When I hear the song, it reminds me of that time we, if only I could relive that a million times. When I miss you, I would hide away, listen to, and pretend I was in your arms. I loved the way you said my name and proudly introduced me as yours. I still do. Cheers to our love, what will always be, and what we'll never forget. Next, Patrick, my husband, will join you again for the remainder of your Sensing More date. Hello again. If you elected to prepare and cook your dinner with the help of Marina, I hope you enjoyed it and your table talk as well. Let's jump into your first activity. Locate your included massage oil and massage cards. Prepare to brush up on your massage technique. Find the best place in your home to take turns getting a massage and remember to set the mood. Play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors to find out who will be the receiver of the first round of massage. The loving giver of the first massage can collect your massage cards now. Read through to reveal important information about each style of massage. Pick the type of massage you would like to try first and spend the first minute giving your partner the type of chosen massage without revealing any information to your significant other. Now take a moment and read the contents of the card to describe what type of massage you are given. Continue for one more minute with your partner providing feedback about what they like and would enjoy more of.
Next, you'll replicate this experience with the remainder of the cards while noting a chime when it's time to discuss each method with your partner. Please note there are four additional types of massage to enjoy.
Now, switch spots and enjoy your turn.
Hopefully you were able to relax and enjoy your massage. Take a moment to wash your hands and get prepared for your next activity. Please note you'll need to move to an area with a tabletop or hard surface to complete your next activity. Welcome back. Now that you're both relaxed, it's time to focus on your attention to detail. Together, take some time to complete your pieceless puzzle included in your box. This puzzle represents some items that can enhance your date night in experience. I'll join you again in a few minutes to tell you the next part of your activity. Go ahead and get started. All right, now we're gonna enter into a little friendly competition and see how well you can recall the contents of the puzzle. Take one minute and study the puzzle together. Ready, set, go. Next, I'll ask you a series of questions based on the image you just saw. Cover your puzzle or turn away from the puzzle and answer to the best of your ability. How many plants were in the picture? What color are the balloons? What color was the candle tin? How many total items appeared in the picture? What is the background color in the picture? Okay, let's see how well you did. How many plants were in the picture? One. What color are the balloons? Yellow. What color was the candle tin? Black. 
How many total items appeared in the picture? 12. What is the background color in the picture? Light blue. Did your memory serve you well? It can be so easy to miss things that are right before your eyes. Let's talk for a moment about how this piece of the puzzle fits into your relationship. Can you recall a time when you recognized with your eyes that your significant other needed support? There is power in being observant and acting on visual cues before your partner verbally communicates them. Spend a few minutes talking about visual cues you might give your partner or cues you wish your partner would have recognized. Time for a taste test. Grab your included McRae's Caramels Pack, tasting mat, tasting scorecard, knife, and a writing utensil. Get ready to indulge your taste buds in some seriously delicious flavors. You and your partner will share a tasting mat. Cut each caramel piece in fourths and place the pieces into a square on your tasting mat. Next, we're gonna walk you through sampling each caramel. Throughout the process, explore as many senses as possible while sampling. Fragrances, texture and taste region, sour, sweet, bitter and salty. Bonus points for you if you can incorporate hearing and sight into your scores. Let's start with the first flavor and go ahead and each of you pick up one fourth of the first caramel you would like to sample. Let's go on a scent journey. To begin, we'll explore all the scents of the caramel you have in your hand. Smell the caramel by taking a deep breath. Is it earthy or floral? Are there scents of spices? If so, try to describe them. Don't eat it quite yet. Try to taste from your nose and discover the aromas that unleash themselves one after the other. First, you'll smell the strongest aromas that are instant and then fade away. Then there are the body aromas that come in the middle of the tasting, like roasted almonds, spice mix, and things like that. Finally, allow yourself to linger over the scent. Similar to wine, you'll first smell the most volatile aromas, primary or head aromas. These are instantaneous, which volatize quickly and fade away in the middle of the tasting process. Make your notes on the scorecard and describe the different elements to your partner as well. Now, you'll both repeat the process exploring the scents of the other caramel flavors on your mat.
Next, you'll explore the timing profiles and taste elements that complete the tasting experience. Before you begin, I'll walk you through your first tasting and then you can continue the journey together. Let's experience your first tasting together, focusing on timing. Each of you go ahead and begin. Closing your eyes, take turns feeding the pieces of the caramel to your significant other or simply place in your own mouth. From the moment you place the caramel in your mouth, does the taste come and go quickly, or does it linger, the flavors surprising you moments after you first put them in your mouth? Remember the results and either take quick notes or write them out later. Now that you've experienced your initial timing results for your caramel, let the caramel melt to taste the initial flavors, aromas, and try to note the texture as well. Rub your tongue against your palate to increase the temperature of the caramels. This will release the final flavors and aromas. When the caramel begins to melt and the aromas are released, breathe gently through your nose and then inhale to fully experience the diversity and complexity of the floral, fruity, or spicy notes. Breathe out to create suction in the mouth, like a whistling effect, causing all the aromas from the caramel that have been worked by the tongue in the palate to come together and move up towards your nose. Take a moment to concentrate on your tongue to feel and savor the different flavors. Describe the flavors to your partner and make your notes on the tasting score sheet and then continue. By now you know the drill, so go ahead and repeat the process for each caramel flavor. I'll leave you to guide yourself. Take notes and I'll join you again in 5 minutes.
I hope you enjoyed your tasting journey. To conclude, rate the caramels on a scale of 1 to 10 on how well the name portrays the taste. After you rate all the caramels, write on the back of the card which one was your favorite and don't forget to share with us using the hashtag date night inbox and DNI sensing more. Our friends Jesse and Kelly from OK Collective Candle Company have supplied you with three gem melt scent samples to enjoy. Sample the three scents and once you've picked your favorite, head over to OK Collective's website to purchase a candle in the scent you like best. They're generously offering a 15% discount off your entire order using the code DATENIGHT15. Let's take a moment to talk about the scents you'll be sampling. Stargazer is a sweet scent with some earthy tones to it. The real MVP is earthy and masculine with notes of amber, cedar, leather, and musk. Finally, Yas Queen will greet you with crispy aromas of sweet grapefruit and mint. Talk about which one is your favorite in a scent you'd like to smell in your home. Feel free to place your favorite gem melt scent into a wax warmer and enjoy! Next, I'll be guiding you through a series of relationship questions. Close your eyes, sit back and relax and take turns answering these questions. The purpose of closing your eyes is to truly eliminate any and all distractions. You may feel more relaxed and without restraint as your partner's visual cues have been eliminated, possibly resulting in slightly less inhibited answers. After each question, I'll pause for two minutes. During that time, each of you take a moment to answer the question about your relationship with your partner. If you need more time to discuss, please feel free to pause the audio guide. Ready? Let's go. What is your favorite memory of dating your significant other? What is your favorite thing that your partner does for you?
Do you ever dream about your significant other? If so, tell them about your dreams. What do you think you need to work on most in your relationship? When do you feel the most protected and taken care of in your relationship?
What was the very first thing you thought about when you first met your significant other? What's another career you think you'd love?
What's the happiest you ever felt in your relationship and why? What's a question you've never asked your partner? What accomplishment are you most proud of?
what would you do with an extra thousand dollars to spend only on yourself? If you could go back in time, what age would you be again, and why? Go ahead and open your eyes. How'd that feel? Did your significant other's answers surprise you? How did you feel personally about having your eyes closed and being vulnerable in a new way? Head to the final portion of this date to learn ways you can continue your experience. I have so enjoyed our time together tonight and I hope you have as well. If you're interested in continuing your date night, here are a few suggestions. Keep practicing your massage skills. Tackle another puzzle together. Grab some items from the pantry and conduct a blind taste test. Watch a movie that you'd both enjoy. Go to a wine and cheese, beer, olive oil, or honey tasting. 
Schedule a couples massage. Attend an essential oils course. Go see a movie in 3D. Find a great spot to watch the sunset and have a picnic. Go on a scavenger hunt together. Check out a local art exhibit. Or visit a local spot that features live music or maybe even a poetry reading. I really hope you've enjoyed your date tonight. Thank you so much for joining all of us here at Date Night In for Sensing More. We'll see you next month for your next Date Night In.